what's going on here? No, really. <laughs> I don't know. Hey guys, so today's video is a really exciting DIY video because I came up with three DIYs that are kind of like, you know, spring related and also Tumblr, you know, inspired and all that because I really wanted to make these things for my room because I thought they were super cute for like room decor and I figured I would share them with you. So lots of these, you've maybe seen different variations like the floral letter which I've been wanting to make one of these for so long. You've probably seen that other places, but that just came from Pinterest, and this is kind of my version and how I wanted to make it. And then the DIY like Instagram collage pillow is so cute, and I really love the way it turned out. So yeah, these are just like some fun, thing, fairly simple and inexpensive things that you guys can do to spruce up your room for the springtime. So without further ado, if I can you know, speak English, let's get started. So the first DIY is for this super cute floral letter that you can basically put anywhere in your room or even hang. But for this, all you're going to need is a wood letter. I got mine at Michael's. You could totally just use like cardboard and cut out your own letter, but I found that easier. You're going to need a variety of fake flowers and your glue gun. So basically all you have to do is pop off all of the fake flowers from its stems. This was super easy and you also want to make sure you take off the little nub that's kind of at the end of the flower. You'll see when you do this that there's like a little bit that you need to cut off to make the flower a little bit more flat and easier to, you know, place on the wood letter. And then sometimes for the bigger flowers they have little wires in them, so for my big purple flowers I did have to use scissors, but this was super easy. Again, it wasn't very difficult. And then the next thing you want to do while your glue gun is heating up is kind of arrange your flowers in the order or pattern that you would like. This just kind of visually shows you what the flowers are going to look like together, whether you want a lot of flowers on there kind of squished together or if you only want a few in the corners but once you have that all solved out and figured basically just go ahead and glue the little stem on the flower and place it down you can also glue like the petals of the flower I did that for a few of them just to really secure it down but that's basically all you have to do is just continuously you know glue and stick and for certain flowers like these daisies, they kind of had a shape of their own, so I kind of made that fit with the floral arrangement that I was going for, and I basically stuck to a pattern because I'm kind of weird like that and I like things to be a certain way, so I basically did mine very symmetrically, and I think it turned out really good. Another little tip is to fold out the petals if, you know, the flower isn't the right shape for that section or if it has too many petals just to cut them off but I found that really worked with the you know tip of the M there and then yeah that's basically all you have to do and make sure you let this dry flat so the glue has time to completely dry but other than that you're basically good to go to hang it up it's so simple I love this DIY it looks amazing in my room and I just kind of put it up with some command hooks because those are easily removable and they fit it well you can't really see the hooks at all because of you know the flowers and the petals so it looks really great this next DIY is something that I have been wanting to show you guys for so long and this is the Instagram collage pillow and basically all you're gonna need is a pillow and a case to go over it you're gonna need some printable iron-on sheets and of course you're gonna need an iron as well so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and you know use your computer to screenshot some Instagram pictures or you can take them from tumblr whatever you want you can really do anything you want but I made mine perfect square and then you also want to make sure you reverse them so basically flip them horizontally so they do print out kind of backwards make sure you do a test because I ran a bit out of ink and so I'm really glad I did so that I could replace the ink and then reprint the you know pictures onto the iron-on sheet and make sure you read the instructions because they're all different and make sure you let the ink dry completely before you know putting one sheet on top of another because you want these to be in perfect condition for your pillow so once you have those all printed out go ahead and cut them this is totally optional you could you know completely iron the whole sheet but I figured that cutting them out individually I would have more control and I also left a little bit of a white border around so that they would all match and since I was using a white pillowcase it didn't really matter if I had a little bit of white or not because it won't really show up anyway the next thing you want to do is arrange them in the order or shape that you like you don't have to do them like you know vertically you can arrange them in a heart if you want it's totally customizable and after you have completely ironed your pillowcase I highly recommend if you are doing the same kind of pattern that I am doing I suggest starting with the middle because you have a little bit more 
kind of range as to where the other two rows are going to surround it. You have more control kind of over the alignment and everything. So go ahead and do that. My iron on sheets said to use no steam, to press really hard and to go very slow. So, you know, read your instructions, make sure you're doing it right and, you know, have fun with it. I never iron, but this was kind of fun for me. And yeah, you basically want to make sure that everyone is pressed evenly and you kind of align it as even as you can. And then once it has completely cooled, like to the touch, it's not hot at all, go ahead and peel off the little backings and you are revealed a awesome, you know, little mini Instagram pictures on this pillowcase. And I love this. I love how bright it is. You can totally edit your photos to like bring up the saturation and everything, but these are all my, you know, most recent Instagram pictures and I'm absolutely in love with them. They're so colorful and so bright. This would be such a fun idea if you guys went on a trip recently so you could use all photos from there. It works as a gift too and these can run you like $40 online so I figured that it would just be easier to make it yourself and it's such an eye-catching piece to have in your room if you have people over. I'm guaranteeing you that they will want to look at this and kind of ask you how you did it. Moving on to this galaxy plant pot, you're going to want to start off with your basic plant pot. I like the orange one. I got a kind of taller one, but you can totally just use regular size and kind of whatever plant is going to fit in it. So I started off by spray painting mine purple and then leaving it overnight to dry. Make sure it's like completely dry before you move on. You're going to need purple, white, red, and black paint. You're also going to need some sponges, I just used regular cosmetic sponges, and then of course you're going to need a tray or something to put your paint on and kind of mix your colors because you're going to need to do that. And then you also want to have some paint brushes. So the first color I you know, put in my palette here was black, lavender, and then I had red and white to make pink. And I basically kept adding white to make it a more pink, but you could totally just buy a pink you know, paint if you really wanted to. So I'm basically taking the cosmetic sponge and the first color I'm using is black and I'm basically dabbing it off onto the sheet and then I'm dabbing it onto the actual pot to make it kind of more blended and everything. I started it off a little rough. It was a, li a little too much at the beginning if you saw that, but that's basically all I did and then I kept layering with the other colors, moving in circular motions and it looks kind of weird when it first starts, but I swear it gets prettier and by the end you're gonna love it at least that's what happened with me. For the pink color I actually cut my sponge in half and kind of made it circular and then I used that and then for the last color which is white I basically used a smaller cut sponge and kind of you know blended it all in. So once you have that all kind of you know laid out your base layer of all your you know meshed colors I then took a paintbrush and started flicking white paint and this created a really neat effect of like spotted lines and a little bit of like I know, bigger lines. And then I took a paintbrush and kind of added like physical dots to it. And I also <laughs> attempted to draw little stars. You can totally do this if you want to. You could totally leave it. But this is basically what the finished pot looks like. And it dries pretty fast. So I was able to put my plant in right away. If you're wondering, my plant is from, you know, a basic plant shop. It was a $5 succulent. And I think it looks so freaking cool in this pot. And I absolutely love the way this turned out. So those are all the DIYs. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more DIYs in the future. And if you guys tweet or Instagram and like tag me in a picture if you recreate any of these things, I'll definitely be sure to like like it and retweet it if it's on Twitter and stuff like that. And even any screenshots you take from the video, I've been getting a ton of those sent to me on Twitter, which is so awesome and so much fun. You guys are seriously so funny and I love it. So definitely follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and I also have Snapchat, which is M. Michaela G and I've been posting a lot of stories on there so yeah follow me on the social medias and I will see you guys in my next video love you bye